Hello, this is Brian Reich, back again for another video tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to check your hard drive space on Windows 7. Uh, to get started, go ahead and click your Start button and go to Computer. And under Computer, you'll see all the drives that are installed on your computer. This includes your hard drive, uh, removable drives, CD-ROM drives, and thumb drives, anything like that that you might have uh, installed. Uh, to check your available hard drive space on your C drive, now notice that if I click my C drive, down at the bottom I get some basic information. It shows me a little bar right here, space used versus total size. Uh, you can see the size of my drive is showing up as 19.8 gigabytes, and I have an available 12.1. And of course it shows me my file system for this drive, which we won't worry about right now. But that gives you a basic overview. Now if you want more information, you can right click on your, your drive and select Properties. And under the General tab, uh, of course it gives us our file system, it tells us what type of drive we have, but it also tells us the use space both in bytes and gigabytes, and the free space as well in bytes and gigabytes, and then it gives us the total capacity of the drive. Now a couple other options we have under here is the Disk Cleanup tool. Uh, if you click that, it's going to run a tool that will guide you through deleting temporary files off of this drive. That includes um, Internet Explorer temporary files, log files, installation files, pretty much anything that uh, isn't necessary for your computer to run or isn't a, a data file that you've explicitly put on that drive. Um, down below that, we have the Compress This Drive to Save Disk Space option. I've covered this in another tutorial. I don't ever recommend using that option. What this option does, it compresses nearly all of the files on the drive. Um, and this will significantly slow down your computer because every file that needs to be accessed is going to have to be decompressed first. Um, you can think of it like this. It's like having to unzip every single file that Windows needs to run before it can run it. Um, not only is this going to compress your data files like Word documents and MP3s, but it's also going to compress um, all the files that comprise Windows, so the thousands of code libraries and executable files that need to run when Windows boots up, it's going to have to decompress those before it can actually get into Windows. Uh, this slows things down considerably. And at the price of disk space these days, I highly recommend either getting a new hard drive or getting an external thumb drive or something similar to store your files on. Uh, you won't regret it, but you will regret using the compress this drive option. Uh, down below that, uh, we have the allow files on this drive to have contents indexed in addition to file properties. Uh, this is basically going to allow the Windows search service to go through the files on this drive and uh, do what's called indexing to those files. It's going to go through the files and basically add keywords from those files to the Windows search database. Um, this allows us to search for those files using the search feature on our start menu. Uh, if I would type a search term into this box, it would then go through the files on that drive and uh, show me results. That's if I have this option selected, which it is by default. Um, also under the C drive properties, we have several other tabs. We have tools. Uh, we can find our error checking defragmentation tool and backup utility there. Uh, we have the hardware tab, sharing, quota, previous versions, and security. And all of this stuff is uh, some material we'll cover a different day. It's a little out of the scope of this tutorial. So uh, that's all there is to checking your disk space. I hope you've learned something and I uh, hope you'll stop by and uh, check out some other video tutorials. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.